how to install APKs on Chromebook without developer mode in 2025. Without developer mode, I repeat. But as you can see, I had a notepad.apk file right here. I went ahead and accepted the terms and services, clicked on install right away, waited for it to finish installing, and then I went ahead and opened my APK. Now as you can see, here is the APK installed and fully working. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can do exactly the same thing to run any APK on any Chromebook without developer mode. Here are the requirements if you're wondering if you can install APK on Chromebook or APKs on your specific Chromebook. And so you need to pay attention. Now, if you have any other device like a laptop or another phone, you can watch this video on that device because you might have to restart your Chromebook at least once. However, if you don't have any other device, it's perfectly fine to watch it on your Chromebook and make sure to return once you're done restarting. How to open Linux Terminal on Chromebook. Now, in order to get the Linux subsystem on your Chromebook, go ahead and click on the launcher icon and then type in settings. Now, this might even pop up before you're done typing so just click on settings and once you're in your settings bar go ahead and look at the left hand side bar don't forget to smash the like subscribe and bell button and come join my discord down in the description if you happen to face a problem go ahead and scroll to the bottom and click on the about como as section now once here you're going to scroll down again and you're going to click on the linux development environment section go ahead and click on setup at the right hand side and then go ahead and click on next when prompted now i'm going to change my name and make it something like gd7 os and then i'm going to go ahead and leave it on the recommended 10 gigs because that's enough for me and i'm going to click on install now whilst our linux terminal is downloading we're going to go ahead and find our apk online how to download APK on Chromebook. Now the downloading of an APK can be very tricky, so you need to pay attention. Now you can go ahead and get your APKs from APK Pure, APK Monk, Aptoid, or APK Mirror. Now we're going to test this out with APK Pure. We're going to go ahead and get something as simple as let's say a notepad app, and then we're going to go ahead and search for it. Now we can go ahead and select any notepad app right here, click on it, click on download APK at the top right hand side, scroll all the way to the bottom and click on download APK right there. Great. Now, this is the part where I need you guys to pay attention. Do not save your downloaded file to your downloads. Go ahead and click on your Linux files right here and then go ahead and rename this file. Make it something very basic that you can remember or something very basic that you can type. Make sure there are no caps locks or any capital letters in there. And so I'm going to make this as basic as possible, making a notepad with all lower cases. Now, if you put in a high case, make sure that you add it when we're doing it at the later part of this video. Let's go ahead and click on save and that's it. How to install APK on Chromebook. Now, at this point, your Linux terminal should have finished downloading, so you can go ahead and shut this down because we won't be using it currently. However, you have to go ahead and click on apps on the left-hand side of your screen, and then go ahead and click on turn on for the manage Google Play preferences. Now, if this is already turned on, it's going to say remove. However, if it's not already turned on, you can just go ahead and click on turn on, click on more, click on accept, and then wait for this to finish setting up. Okay, now as you can see the play store has fully loaded up but we do not need the play store so we're going to go ahead and shut this down as well now the reason we had to do this is because when you go to about chrome os and then you go ahead and click on the linux development environment you're going to see that there's a new thing that says develop android apps now once you see the develop android apps go ahead and click on this and make sure to enable adb debugging by clicking on the button at the right hand side now this is going to ask you to restart and continue so make sure to restart and come back this is why i asked you to use another device however you can just restart and come back to this video as well now as you can see it says enable adb debugging so i'm going to go ahead and click on confirm and then i'm going to go ahead and log in and i'll see you guys on the other side of my screen how to open the Linux terminal. Now in this part, you have to go ahead and click on the launcher and just type in ter. Now before you're even done typing, you're going to see it says terminal, click on that. And then once here, you're going to see it says Linux and says manage. But however, you're going to click on the penguin right under Linux. And then once that is done, you're going to see that it loads with your name and then it has the penguin next to it. Now go down the description and click on the link to my website to get to this website to get the codes you need to enter. Now, the first thing we need to do is check our Debian version to make sure we're on the same page. And so the first thing we're going to go ahead and do is type in cat space with the forward slash type in etc. Another forward slash type in Debian underscore version and hit enter right away. Now, anything ranging from 10 to 12 or even 13 is absolutely good and absolutely fine for this very specific video. Now, once you're done with that, go ahead and type in sudo space apt space updates and hit enter right away great now once that is done go ahead and type in sudo space apt space upgrade and hit enter once again now if you're prompted any y slash n just go ahead and hit y and hit enter right away 
Now, this next one is a pretty important one, and so you need to pay attention. Now, go ahead and type in sudo space apt hyphen type get, and then you have to bring install. And then this is what the part that you need to pay attention. Go ahead and type in Android, spell it correctly, bring a hyphen, and go ahead and type in twos, another hyphen, and type in ADB. And hit enter right away. Now, if it gives you Y slash N, always go ahead and hit Y and hit enter once again. Now, at this point, you're pretty much done with everything. Go ahead and copy the code that is in the terminal codes on my sites, the first one. Right click it into the terminal and hit enter right away. Great. Now, as you can see, it says allow USB debugging. And so you're going to go ahead and click on allow. And then once you've clicked on allow, you can click on allow again. And then that should be done. Now, once we're done with this, we have to go ahead and type in ADB space install. And then we're going to bring double quotations, bring space and hit double quotations and type the name of the APK that you just got from your site. And so I'm going to go ahead and type in notepad because that was the name for my APK, dot APK. And I'm going to bring another double quotation. I'm going to hit enter right away. Now, if this fails, this is not that big of a problem because I have a debug error system manual down here that you can use to check out everything now if you look here it says error more than one device emulator and if you look on my debug error section it says more than one device slash emulator and so that means that we have to go ahead and use this code that repairs or fixes it pretty much well and so i'm going to right click this and i'm just going to change the file name this time you don't need quotations we just go ahead change the file name to notepad and hit enter right away Great. Now, as you can see, it says success. How to open APK on Chromebook. Now, how do we find this Notepad app? We go ahead and click on our launcher. And as you can see, it says Notepad right here. It's fully downloaded and it has the dots to even show it's new. Now, as I clicked on this, it just worked for me. And so this is basically how you can install any APK on your Chromebook. Now, just a word of advice. If any code does not work here, just make sure to put sudo in front of it or take sudo from the front of it. Now, if that also doesn't work, go ahead and check all the errors that you could get and the possible solutions at the bottom here. And so this is how to install any APK on any Chromebook without developer mode on your Chromebook in 2025. Now, don't forget to smash the like, subscribe and bell button and come join my Discord down in the description if you happen to face a problem with that said if you want to know how to get fortnite on the combo go ahead and watch this other video however if you also want to know how to get minecraft or steam you could go down to my channel and see all of these other videos with that said it's your boy gt7 plays and i'll see you guys in my next video peace out